Hey guys, this is Rodney Holmstrom. Hey, just wanted to share with you a great gift that, that God gave me last night. Um, but before I share that, I want to just kind of give you a little bit of backdrop um, to set this up. Uh, several years ago, my mother became very sick and she had emphysema, congested heart failure, cardiomyopathy, diabetes. I mean, she was struggling, living on a breathing machine, pretty much on her back the last couple few years of her life and in the last year of her life me and my mother really were able to develop some really uh, strong bond some great spiritual conversations uh, took place on the phone uh, she used to ask me to sing to her over the phone and she just loved that so we just had some really rich rich times together and in January of 2009 I had the opportunity to go see my mother which would prove to be the last time that I saw my mother conscious. And so it's very memorable in that respect, but, but it was memorable on, on another front as well. And that is, you know, this particular time, uh, me and my mom were having some conversations about Christ and, and just talking about our faith. And, and um, well, this one night uh, she was struggling with fear. She was struggling with, I'm afraid to die. Uh, I think she knew that her time was coming to an end here on earth. And, and uh, so we were just having some great spiritual conversations about that. And, well, the, the hours passed and I'm sitting in the chair. It was just me and her in the hospital room. And, and it was late at night and she had the TV on. And she would kind of go in and out sleeping. And um, I was kind of dozing in and out late at night. And, but then I heard her saying something. And I looked over, I was to her right, and I looked over to my left, and I saw my mother with her hands in the air, praying, with her eyes closed, just her and God. And, and it was as if I was, uh, I was not in the room. And uh, she was praying, and just it was a conversation between her and her Savior. And she did that for quite a while. And after she got done praying, she lowered her hands, and she looked over at she said, I'm not afraid anymore. And it was just the, the sweetest uh, look of peace that I've ever seen on anyone. And uh, she was just at complete peace about the whole situation. Um, well, that was in January of 2009. Uh, I went back home. And uh, the next time I saw my mother, she was unconscious. She had slipped into a coma. And uh, she, she passed away in May of 2009. And while that was a very difficult, uh, very difficult, I mean, I still grieve to this day. Um, and in fact, today is um, three years to the day when my mother passed. It was, she died on the day before Mother's Day. And on May 9th, um, I was writing her eulogy on Mother's Day. And that was real tough. But here's the thing that, that was... Uh, still brings me hope today. The scriptures say to be apart from the body is to be home with the Lord. And so I know my mom is home with the Lord and, and she's in a much better place. And if I can ask her today, uh, would you come back? I know she would say emphatically, absolutely not. I love you, son, but this is too good. Um, but I knew the anniversary to her death and the anniversaries on losing of loved ones are always so tough. But I knew it was coming up. I knew I knew it was coming up, but I kind of lost track of it over the last week or so. And and last night when I was sleeping, I had a dream. And in this dream, I relived this scene to a certain extent with me and my mom in that hospital room with, with her in her hospital bed. Only the only thing different in this this one is I was listening to a song uh, by Desperation Band called I'm Coming Your Way coming your way with all of my heart with, with, with all that I have with this heart in my chest I'm coming your way um, I was listening to that song and I, in my dream I said mom listen to this song and she's laying in her hospital bed and she puts the earbuds in and she's listening to it and I can just see her closing her eyes and she got the biggest she, she turned and looked at me the Lord gave me the sweetest smile for my mother. And it was almost as if to say, 
It's a three year anniversary, Rodney, of losing your mom. But that smile told me I'm I'm so happy. I'm not I'm not in pain anymore. And so that was just such a gift uh, to wake up. But I got to thinking about that, um, how, you know, literally when, when she's listening to this song in, in her dream, she's saying, I'm coming your way, Lord. And, and that meant spiritually she was leaving uh, this body on this earth and she was going to be with the Lord. But, but it got me to thinking about, am I telling my Savior that today? I'm coming your way today. And, and, and doesn't mean we're going to die today, but are we going to die to ourselves and our own flesh? Am I going to die to who I am and say, Lord, with all of my heart, uh, with all that I have, with this heart in this chest, in my chest, I'm coming your way today. I'm going to give you all that I got. And so it was just a challenge for me that, that am I living my life like it's my last day on this earth? And worshiping and making everything about him and all my motives uh, all the bitterness any resentments that I have letting go of that and, and honoring God with every ounce of strength that I have and that can look like loving my family well it could be serving my community well uh, it could be uh, serving and doing what God wants me to do no matter where I'm employed that I'm serving him with a missional mindset. A couple of scriptures I want to I want to give to you here that uh, just bring some hope to me uh, on the holiness of God. I was sharing this with my leaders last night on our conference call. First uh, Peter 1 14 16 says, Do not be conformed to the former lusts which were yours in ignorance, but be like the holy one who called you the whole be holy yourselves also in all your behavior because it is written you shall be holy for I am holy and then on the goodness uh, the goodness of God Psalm 84 11 for the Lord God is a sun and a shield the Lord the Lord gives grace and glory no good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly and you know the love of God for us, for you and I, is so incredible. I love the scripture in Romans 8, 35, 39. It says, For who can separate us from the love of God? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? As it is written, for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No. And all these things we are more than conquerors through, who, through him who loved us. For I am convinced... And I hope you're convinced today. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, uh, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Nothing, no matter what you're going through, the trouble or hardship, um, uh, angels or demons, nothing, nothing, including ourselves and our mistakes that we make can, can separate us from the love of God. And so knowing that your Father loves you that much, I hope, I hope that you will today say, Lord, I'm coming your way with all that I have, with all that I have, this heart in my chest, with that same smile that the Lord gave me from my mother in my dream last night. Would you give that to your Father and say, Lord, I'm coming your way all that I have, this heart in my chest. Because see, I believe my mother is with my father in heaven right now, and she's saying it's good. And by us coming to the Father today and saying, I'm going to give you all that I have with this heart in my chest. I'm giving you all that I have. I'm coming your way, Father. There's eternal, eternal rewards for that. But we can enjoy those rewards today with a peace that surpasses all understanding, a hope uh, that just will knock our socks off. And so I hope that you'll be challenged like I was this morning through that sweet message from my father as I slept last night to say, I'm coming your way, Father. I hope you'll do